Hi there Pisces, welcome to your end of April 2017 general tarot forecast. It's Rena here, or I should say it's an update. Okay, I'm shuffling the cards. I wanted to tell you um, very briefly about a few transits that are affecting you. Um, you are going to have a new moon in the third house of communication uh, in the sign of Taurus. And this is happening on April 26th. But here's the thing. You're actually having a Mercury retrograde <laughs> in this house earlier in the month. Starting on the 9th of April and eventually around the 21st of April, it will have retrograded far enough back to go back into Aries. Aries is your um, second house of earned income. So that that's very nice because um, that could be some kind of discussions or thoughts you've had about the money that you earn, but first it's in the third house. So what could that mean? Well, if some of you are doing something internet-based, that could be coming in. Maybe you work from home. Maybe you, you know, um, telecommuting. Um, or just have a website or something like that, and you're kind of getting tweaking it to try to get more money. Maybe you're starting a blog and you're trying to monetize it, something. But remember that we have Mercury retrograding in this area. So, you know, first in the third house and then in the second house. So things may not be solid. Um, May 3rd, Mercury goes direct in that second house. So then you should start to see things kind of easing up. And if you want to launch, that would probably be the ideal time. Um, and what else? I think that's all I'm going to tell you. That's enough for now. <clears throat> okay. And remember, this is a general theme, so this could be any area of your life. It seems like I'm always, I can't get away from love readings. Oops, these two cards came out. I'll put them both here, okay? Even though I don't typically do that. I said that lately I've been getting reverse cards um, and it's interesting because I for a long time I wasn't getting any so <clears throat> I don't know if that means anything <laughs> the overall theme for this last half of the month is the eight of cups this is about leaving something which no longer serves you so in a general forecast this could be uh, a job that is not fulfilling a relationship that is not emotionally connected but it can even be a friendship that you don't feel has um, you know stood the test of time um, possibly you know it could be even family members anybody who you don't feel have your back or you just feel like it's not worth dealing with anymore for whatever reason um, In the, the recent past, we have the Queen of Swords. This can be somebody who is a solitary person, solitary, a single mother, um, a widow, somebody who is very uh, head over heart, but not in a cold way, just in, in a determined way. And of course, you're a water sign, so this is not typically you. But maybe this is something that you had to steal yourself into becoming so that you could leave. Um, so again, it could be in any area, even your, your work life. If you, uh, sometimes people get attached emotionally to their work place. So it's not beyond the pale to suggest that you might have um, had to, even if you didn't like certain aspects of a job, that you still had to be very uh, strong emotionally to be able to get over 
or, you know, to, 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 to actually physically be able to get up and leave. Um, let me just keep going. And right now, we have the three, or the, yeah, no, the, <laughs> the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a card that connects to, you can see that this is a card of emotional commitment, but it can also be reuniting with somebody that you were estranged from. It can also be forgiveness. So maybe not reuniting with them, but at least um, getting, you know, feeling better feelings about the person. So in some of your cases, it could be that you left one person for a former relationship. Because remember that in the middle of April, when Venus goes direct, it will be going direct in Pisces, your sign. So you may be very affected by this Venus retrograde or have been. And they always say, you know, Venus retrogrades, people come back from your past. Even with Mercury retrograde, you may hear from somebody in your past. And... I just wanted to say a couple of things about this Pisces because you're ruled by Neptune. So you are the ultimate idealists. And this is where that gullibility factor comes in because that wanting so badly for things to be perfect can lead, I feel, can lead Pisces to be fickle emotionally sometimes, even though they're very loving. And you can leave a comment below if you either agree or disagree with me. I don't care if you disagree with me. I'm talking smack about you right now. You have the right to disagree with me. But I don't mean it in a bad way, except that to other people, it can appear either, you know, disloyal or wishy-washy because you will go for the person who gives you that emotional boost the most. So if you're not getting that from your current partner, you may walk away from a relationship. Now, maybe a perfectly good relationship. Let's say you're with the Taurus and they are not very, let's say they're not very demonstrative, except sexually, you know, except sexually, but just in terms of I love you or, you know, just all of those things, you know, you're such a wonderful person. You don't hear that. And of course, if you are a woman and you're dealing with a man, this is a classic situation that comes up. And what I would tell you is be careful about throwing away relationships where you feel like the other person doesn't love you because they don't say it. If they show it and if you love them, do not discount that because it's worth a lot in this life to find somebody who is loyal who is stable, it's worth a lot, believe me. Um, and this Harlequin romance syndrome of like, you know, trying to find this rush of that immediate like intoxication with love, that can lead you into countless uh, uh, eight of cups situations where you're always searching for this elusive love and you don't want to get into that trap. That's all I'm saying. Okay, higher message. Um, I did pick, these two came out together. Uh, this, I think, is your card, too, or Neptune's card. This is the Hangman, and so it's about being uh, on ice, <laughs> uh, in suspension. Something is, is kind of um, in this stage of, of um, inaction. Now, in some cases, if let's say that you have reunited with another person, they might be married and they or maybe you're married and you have to, you know, have settle those issues. You can't just go into a new relationship and think, OK, you know, out with the old and with the new, you may have a life with, with that other person that has to be sorted through. Maybe on, on impulse you walked out and now you're like, oh my God, you know, I can't just 
jump into things. It's more complicated than I thought. The hangman card can also speak about issues surrounding not trying to force things. Maybe you want a certain person to leave their partner and it's they can't do it for some reason. Maybe they want to very much so. Maybe they're waiting for their child to graduate high school in two months. I don't know. But the thing is that you have to let go and let God. You can't do anything on your end to necessarily make things speed up. The card I picked along with it is the Three of Cups. This can speak to three parties involved, a lover's triangle, as I was speaking of, you know. Um, if you're reunited with somebody and e either one of you are attached to somebody else. Another thing that I have to mention, which I had just found out recently and makes perfect sense about the Three of Cups, is that we could be talking about alcoholism, other addic addictive tendencies. Uh, Pisces, certainly, uh, with Neptune as a ruler, uh, Neptune deals with addictions. So Pisces um, always have to be aware of escapist tendencies of many different types. Um, addiction is just one of them. But it can also be that um, this is somebody else. It's not you that's doing this. And they are, you're, you're getting involved with somebody who has a drinking problem, has an addiction. And with the Three of Cups, I think of a bar situation, a bar fly, because some people are really seeking out affection from others, not just um, sexual, but like in terms of that scene in a bar where you're just all, you know, the camaraderie. And so um, that could be what is motivating them, maybe out of loneliness. Um, as, well, if some people are a widow, you know, going to the bar and, and, and being around other people to, and, and drinking away the sorrows. It can, it can mean that the person is a womanizer. So I am specifically because these are women depicted, I'm saying a womanizer. Um, but it could mean that you have to wait to be able to start a new life with someone. And in the meantime, you're going to call your friends and just hang with groups of people. You're not going to just um, pine away for this person while you're waiting for them to kind of take the steps to move on with their life. <clears throat> um, just one thing to say about career matters, because I do see a lot that suggests love relationships. But there could be a situation where you left a job that wasn't fulfilling. Maybe you had um, a boss that was maybe even a female boss that really was not very friendly and was demanding of you, and you didn't you didn't feel that that um, sense of emotional connection from this person. Um, it could be that you're going back to a former place of employment, or the, the three of um, cups can suggest that you're collaborating with other people. Maybe you're asking people around you, do you know of any work? Like you're networking. The Three of Cups maybe is networking. What crosses you is the Queen of Pentacles. I'm reading this in the reverse position. This can be um, <clears throat> being too materialistic. <clears throat> so anything associated with making decisions based on money versus the emotional satisfaction that a job brings you or the emotional nurturing that it brings other people because you are a natural healer, Pisces, and you want to make sure that, or you probably like the kind of jobs that bring you in contact with people that you can, you know, show them kindness and help them better themselves in some way. So you may be um, a little bit too concerned with the financial aspect of things. In relationships, make sure that if you're going to a new person, make sure it's not for something shallow. Make sure that the Eight of Cups 
is about seeking that soul um, satisfaction. So the Queen of Pentacles is some in reverse is somebody who is judging everything by its its monetary value, including human beings. So don't be that person, <laughs> in other words. What is coming in or uh, advice? This is a nine of cups. This is a card of emotional satisfaction. This is the wish fulfillment card. Very positive card. Um, be careful not to be too indulgent, but this could mean that if you've been wanting to be with someone, you'll get to be with that person. Uh, things the universe will make a way for you. You're going to feel like celebrating. You're, you know, there's even like a material to me component of well-being, like financial well-being with that card. Um, but very good, very good omen for you. Um, I, you know, again, with these time frames, I wouldn't be too strict with them because this is a lot of stuff happening in two weeks. So just, um, just kind of like the, the tarot weather <laughs> forecast. Um, and then the outcome is the 10 of wands in reverse. And I like this. Because in the upright position, the Ten of Wands is about somebody who is feeling burdened, overworked. So maybe something happens for you, um, Pisces, that eliminates a burden. Um, it, maybe you hook up with other people for a creative project or any kind of collaborative effort that is financially lucrative for you. In your... Um, love life, the same thing. You may have what you want. You may have the person you want. And the struggle is over. That's what the Ten of Wands represents. That uphill climb is over. And you're going to have what you want. Because maybe you were in a relationship that was a struggle to get through. And now the burden is lifted. So that's wonderful. And I hope you enjoyed this, Pisces. If you would like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great rest of April. Bye.